guys, welcome back to the channel. So we just got back camping at the Mammoth Lakes uh, area, Glass Creek area of Mono County, Eastern Sierras of Northern California. And uh, as you can see, my razor is pretty dirty. Mostly sandy, dusty roads, that's about it. I uh, didn't do any mud or anything like that. Um, so it's pretty much just dust. But as you can see, it is really dusty and uh, we're gonna go ahead and clean it up today. Got a few little tricks and I just wanna show you. All right, just to kinda of show you the interior a little bit. Uh, it's pretty dusty. Uh, you know, this garment here isn't waterproof, so I'm gonna to have to take that out. Um, obviously, I'm gonna take the seats out, make sure it gets uh, a little cleaner. And uh, yeah, it's pretty grimy, you know, so, but uh, you can kind of expect this kind of dirt on these things. Um, you know, and actually this, this isn't all that dirty, if you really think about it, um, not at all. Um, just a really quick light washing will do, um, and, uh, and that'll be it. I'm definitely gonna remove the uh, toolboxes and stuff. But as you can see, it's, it's really just some dirt, not a big deal, a little bit of dust. But uh, you know, I, I wanna work on that blow off valve, and uh, you know, I'm gonna remove all that grind before I start opening up the uh, air tracks and stuff like that so anyway let's get started all right as you can see the uh, battery area is pretty dirty um, here's my rock lights you know I just kind of wire tied them and put them down in here but yeah, a couple of the I had an eight light set but a couple of them i'm not using um there's one of them and uh you know i'm just gonna take the leaf blower and blow all this out should be pretty simple I'm not even gonna bother taking out the uh quick release on these because down here they're bolted in and uh it, it could get, it's okay to get wet guys what a difference a little bit of air makes huh take these out to uh, let that water get out but uh, you know you know I like the way that uh, that leaf blower there kind of dusted it out now you can see it got out the worst of it um, I get all the big chunks out here you gotta take out these plugs kind of make things a little bit easier but uh, Hey, the less water I can put in this thing, the better, I figure. Um, you guys, don't forget to take out things like your registration that might get wet. And as far as the seats and the toolbox, you know, I'm going to do those separately. Uh, and again, you can get all this stuff wet, not a big deal. And just let air dry. Now, you saw how the rims looked before. After a little leaf blow action, got the worst of it. So what I'm going to use is this little car wash thing with the uh, concentrate and a garden hose and I'm gonna suds everything down let it soak for about a minute or so kind of emulsify all that dirt and then uh, wash it out with some fresh water
All right, guys, I washed it down pretty thoroughly. Then I took the leaf blower again, blew out the air. It's only 700 CFM, so it's not like it's compressed air. So that's pretty safe. I made sure to blow out the radiators very well. And then I started the engine, let it run for a little while just to get rid of some of that other excess moisture. Then I kind of went around, just kind of wiped everything down with a, a wet cloth, did the windows, and we're all done. So let me check you out. Much better, I would say. And uh, we got the inspector here. Babe, how's mm. it look? Looks pretty good. I mean, there's a few water spots, but, you know. Water spots? What do you <laughs> expect? So, it's pretty clean. I, you know, I paid special attention uh, underneath in the wheel wells, the, uh, the springs, especially the threads on the shocks, um, the tires, everything. Everything got doused with that soap, even the toolbox. Uh, and then on the polycarbonate rear window, I used Plexus inside and out uh, to clean and polish it at the same time. And then on the front dot glass windshield, uh, just regular Windex, any glass cleaner will do. And um, yeah, I think it came out really well. And um, no complaints here. It's clean, um, especially the seats. They just hose off. Uh, all the little crook uh, nooks and crannies in here have drain holes in there for the most part. You know, I wiped out, everything out with a nice uh, uh, clean towel afterwards. Um, but again, pay special attention to your polycarbonate or plastic windshields. Don't use Windex, anything with ammonia. Uh, use something like Plexus or other uh, plastic polish when dealing with the plastics. Okay, so on the next episode, we're going to be taking the clutch cover off, blowing out all the dust, inspecting the belt, and also taking out the air cleaner, inspecting, blowing that out too on the next episode, guys. So thanks for sticking around. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. We're small, we're growing, but we really have big aspirations <laughs> going somewhere. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. Park it. Looks like my job is done here. Four more feet. Keep going. Keep going.